Good morning. Nicole and I are making lots of progress in the area. We're going to put the yurt and we can't wait to get it up, honestly. We converted our van into a sleeper, but we need to get out of that van and get a full on place to live so we can stretch out and have an office and a kitchen and a place to do some qigong and yoga and tai chi and things like that. But the space is looking good. Sun's coming through. And today was a big day. We ordered the pro block and wood to build the platform for the yurt. And we're gonna be showing you guys how that's being delivered and how we're setting up the platform. We're gonna have the yurt up on some stilts so it's raised up off the ground, have a nice deck and balcony and banister. And we're gonna save a lot of this area cause it's delicious salmon berry bushes and salal and native edibles. But we're also going to make it beautiful with a little bit of a pond and some beautiful things all around. The songbirds are out chirping. It's spring and a lot of you are interested in yurts. You're interested in seeing us build the yurt, which if you subscribe here, we'll show you every step of the way. And I've been saving some footage for months and months and months and months and months of us picking up our yurt and bringing it all the way here to the property, which was quite the process since this is boat access only. And from the fall until the winter, until we came to the property, all of the Pacific Northwest was having some of the coldest winter on record, snow on all the freeways. We did transfer this yurt in a U-Haul truck, but also in our spirit van. It was quite the process and I got some footage to show you guys this morning. So the footage you're about to see is us picking up the yurt from Pacific Yurts, bringing it all the way here to the property and some of the trials and tribulations we experienced along the way. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave us a comment. Maybe if you have an interest in supporting us, you can hit the like button and turn on our notifications by hitting the bell button. And those of you out there who want to support us further have become our patrons on our Patreon page and we thank you so much. Maybe you have an interest in getting a yurt. Well, hopefully this video of our yurt experience will answer a lot of your questions and inspire you. Hey, there's Hi. our van, Spirit Bear. Yeah. We're gonna live in that van and we're gonna live in one of these yurts. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. That one was beautiful. Yes, it was very This is the, the 20 footer? 20 footer, cool.
think we can make something as beautiful as this? Yes. You think so? Yeah. This is pretty good. Yes. All right, let's give it a try. Here's just a standard. Nice. So, what do you think about that being a full-on home there behind us on the ground? I mean, it looks awesome. Yeah. Do you think we can get to the property um, successfully and safe? We're gonna have to. <laughs> and then uh, turn that into a 30-foot diameter yurt home. Yes. It's gonna be quite the project, but I'm excited. I think we can do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys do an excellent job. Our house into the back of a truck. The best dang packing job of all time. Print here? Print there, date there. Signature. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks for packing it up. Before. Yeah, it looks beautiful. We made it through some treacherous roads in some tumultuous weather. Honestly, the most snow I've ever driven on. And Nicole's family was nice enough to house the yurt in a dry, enclosed, safe environment for the few months that we'd be visiting and staying with them. The weather did not let up and it turns out the journey to the property would also be in blizzard conditions. I'm getting practice in rowing a boat. <laughs> Might want to get used to that. <laughs> Along the way we stopped to pick up more materials such as the carport you already saw us install and build here on the channel. If you haven't seen us put up the carport in the rain, it's a good series, go check it out. Honestly, my favorite part of the journey from British Columbia to Vancouver Island is the natural beauty that surrounds you as you cross the ocean on the ferry.
if you guys come out at the same time now, it should be good. We did it.